Today we're doing something a little different. You may have seen me throw the fly you know, on the freshwater stuff, chasing carp. Salt water today, chasing flathead. Just on the flats, up a little creek. I've got a box full of flies, pink things, shrimp, shrimp patterns, crab patterns, clouds of stuff. Little six, seven weight, little intermediate line. Tapered leader, 12 pound setup, like basic, basic, but should be awesome fun. Clear, shallow water flats. Standing on something. Tiny stuff chasing it. Oh, oh that's a stick. <laughs> I thought, here we go, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh, man. I was extremely happy for a second there. I thought I thought I was loading up on a proper giant then. I don't know if you pick it up with the camera, but I got a little sand ledge. Oh, there's something out there. A little drop off just drops into some slightly deeper water. The flathead fall on that tiny one. A little guy followed. Stuck in frothy foam crap. Might be time for a fly change already. A little flathead light here. One fish. Dit, 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 just moving around as the tide falls. Another little guy. Oh! Another stick. Big flathead. Damn it. Just had a good fish shoot off the edge. Water's pushing out pretty hard here, so I'm kind of walking with the fly line, trying to keep it straight as I can strip. And the fish just out on that drop off. Oh, well, I'm in the zone. Get rid of that pink thing, we'll try a little shrimp pattern. See if that makes a difference. Oh, there is the tiniest flathead on there. Oh, I got him. 
I got him. No, he came off. He was about six inches long, man. He actually got that fly in his mouth. No way. I'm like, there's no way he's going to eat that. Oh, he's coming back at it again. I got him again. Oh, he came off again. He's so tiny. Oh, that was an eat, and I trouted it. I was looking down, line management, fell to nibble, and just full trouted it. Well, instantly that shrimp pattern's getting more attention than that pink thing. Oh, damn it, I got an eat again, and it ripped line back through my fingers. And I was not ready for that. Oh, I'm rusty as on the long wand. It's like having to learn everything all over again. There's a little flathead coming up on the bottom to eat that. He'd be lucky to be five inches long. All right, strip strike, strip strike. You gotta drum it into yourself. Fly fishing, you definitely increase the odds in the fish's favor. It's not as easy as bouncing a plastic, but I think the reward, if you can get one to eat, especially when you tie your own flies, there's something about it. It does become quite cool. Oh, Trout eat it again! Damn it! I thought I strip struck a little bit that time, but full Trout eat it still. I'm so used to the carp fishing, shallow water, floating line. That was an eat again! I thought I missed a lot on plastics. This is gonna hurt. Oh, and I trouted it again. Oh. I'm guessing there are any little flathead hitting it, but like, come on, dude. I don't know how well you pick it up with this camera, but like, you can see the blue line, that drop off. Each fish has come off a little edge, somewhere near that. Like, they just love hanging in those ambush points. These undulations of just shallow, flat stuff, maybe there's a time and a place. But what I found up here, like there's just, it's just a dead zone. You can cast that stuff for hours for nothing. Jump straight on one of those drop offs though. And put yourself straight in the zone. Yes! That's a Trevally or something, is it? What is that? Can't even keep tension on it. It's a butter brim. You're kidding me, aren't you? <laughs> That's what was hitting that fly before and why I couldn't get one in them. That uh, first fish is a butter brim. <laughs> he didn't read the script. It's not how it's supposed to go. But I got a hook in him. Oh no! Make a move back up. All right, we're doing it tough with the fly rod. I've got one little pool here. It's sort of off the main current. It's the bottom of the tide, so it's not going to flow as hard. 
should be able to manage my fly and my fly line a bit better. So I missed a few eats, had a few butterbrim playing around with it. Spooked one good fish off the edge, which is disappointing. But this pool, good chance of a flathead, maybe a couple grunter. Ah, see so how we go. Fly fishing, yeah, you can see why uh, I love my soft plastics. So easy. There is a time and a place for this thing though, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to flathead fishing, so many, so many um, easier ways to do it. After that piss poor attempt at fly fishing the other day, I'm back out. Spin rod in hand, little plastic, curl tail, gulp. But I'm just gonna try and redeem myself. Just try and get a few fish on the spin gear. Similar day, it's run out. I'm gonna have a low tide, middle of the day. It'll be like a midday bite. But yeah, slightly overcast on the horizon, but you know, sunny day, clean water on the flats. Should get some today. That's the only way I'm going to be able to round out that uh, that attempt at fly fishing. So, get some fish today, and then you'll probably see all this together, and it'll make sense. Right, let's try and get some. Yeah, same spiel. Yeah, same as before. Two and a half thousand reel, ten pound braid, twelve pound leader, seven foot, four to ten pound rod, quarter ounce head. So simple. We should really flick the way we're walking, especially as we approach this drop off. I'd hate to spook a big fish. Today I'm aiming for that side, but I haven't fished this little channel. I've fished what comes into it, so I thought, if I'm gonna cross over, I might as well fish my way over. I don't know how deep that channel is just yet either. Still got a couple hours that side to fall out. I reckon we'll get a couple today. Small little plastic. Everything wants to eat it. A lot less effort with the spin rod. That fly fishing, it's good fun, but there's a lot more effort that goes into it. You should be able to pick up that color difference. I'm just on this drop off. It's still only knee deep water, but I can feel a little shell grit and sort of muddy solid stuff underneath me as opposed to that sand edge. This broken ground, like this is prime flathead spots. Real estate spots, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Not a bad day for it, slight breeze. I went and put those little bed kitten microphone little covers on the GoPro. But I haven't really done much in the wind since I've done it, so hopefully that makes a bit of a difference. But I am getting to the point where I'm gonna have to just go and get one of those independent audio recording little devices, little DJI thing. Cause the wind sucks. Like it's bearable to fish in, but it sucks to watch and have to listen to. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, it's a stick. It was a solid hook set and it stayed buried in the sand for a second. <laughs> and then it moved and I thought, oh, big fish. But no, just a stick. That wakes you up. Oh, what was that? Another stick fish? We 
got fish in front of us. Oh, that was an it. What the hell? Is that neat? I missed that. Yeah, there's something little tapping at it. It's no rush. It's my last day's fishing up here. A couple of hours of that run out. Take my time. Bounce a little plastic. And the rest should just happen. Definitely have zones in this place. Like there are zones where there are more flathead than others. And there are little zones where you've got a chance of a fish. Some zones are just barren. Surely it's not the bait. Bloodworm color, single tail grub. Like, come on, everything eats that. Oh, had a fish eat it right there. Something about being on a flat, like you really just feel more at one with nature. You just, you're in the zone. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I got an eat just off the rod tip. And he drove that quarter ounce 1 0 into my cheek. Oh no, man. You see JC strolling off in the background there somewhere. Crashed his drone yesterday offshore. Looked over and was flying low and then just wave clipped it and glug, glug, down the gurgler. Now we should um should help him get another drone. He filmed some cool stuff with that drone. Oh that sucks. I feel for you but hey if you're gonna fly a drone over the ocean at some point you're probably gonna crash on it. I've accepted that fact and I think anyone that's gonna do the same should probably accept that too. Alright changing the bait Little two inch shrimp. See if they want small and tiny or if they just like that little prawn profile, little shrimpy profile. Let's see. Come on, flathead. Let's go. I've had my chill, a little chill start. Now I'm ready. Let's go. Let's give me something. Don't know about this zone. Might not be a very good zone. What I've seen so far hasn't impressed me much. And there's this crazy looking zone. Deep water, a couple of bits of flows hitting a drop off. That's a crazy looking little bit of something going on. Oh, I had something. Damn it. Some bait up on this little flat. Stack of bait up on here. Oh, look at it go. What's after that? Oh, there he is, Trevally. Trevally full charged up chasing those mullet. Had to be his own. Stack of bait. Deep water. And I get that trevally to eat. That would be cool. Let's up the profile. Go a bigger bait. Come on, Trevally. Eat that thing. Couldn't give me one Trevally? Hey, really? Yes! That's a flathead. Oh, you got an eat on the bigger bait. Just a little fl Oh no! <gasps> oh. Why? Why? Why do that? Oh, the bigger bait. It 
did look very zony. Like it's got a bit going on for a zone. Some days you just do that. You just drop everything you hook. Nothing quite works out. We're not giving up though. We'll get fish. Yeah, there's a fish. That's a flathead. That's another flathead, the bigger bait. As soon as we made it worth their while. Oh, we're gonna get one in. We got one in. We got one. Oh, finally. That's cool. We got one in. Oh shit, we're gonna lose him. <laughs> Alright, next fish, I am setting the hooks hard and ripping his gills out. But we're getting him in and getting him up and getting a shot. But yeah, that's fish. It's too flathead we've raised here and seeing a little trevally charge up on the flat so there's something going on. It's got a bit happening. Here we go. Oh how did that not keep a hook in it? That was big. Far out, man. What do you do? You just keep casting. I think this dude's been throwing his cast net all along here. But I did spook a big fish here the other day. Slowly making my, my way over. That guy beat me. You see what I mean by they're in zones? Like you catch a couple fish, you get a few hits in an area and then go for a mile without nothing. It all just looks like good flathead territory, drop offs and little channels and gullies and broken ground. Hmm, make a move, new zone. New zone. Uh, we've got one on the board. Didn't have the camera rolling. Like every time. Gotta be something. But there's a little guy. Tiny little flathead. I'll take it. So I don't know at what point that camera turned off or when I didn't press record, but I didn't press record. Now, that's a good enough one. Come on, get one on film. Is this thing rolling? Can't believe I did that all these years. Didn't press record. Oh, really? Got him. Oh, off. Little flathead, man. <laughs> you can see that's like another cool zone. You got the main bit of channel pushing off a bank, little feeder creek coming into it. Mightn't be stuck with big fish, but there's fish in that zone. Uh, make a move, push up to the next little hole. I might go up a bit further today, I don't know. See how dirty it gets as we make our way up. It should be pretty clean. I think the last rain's a week ago now, so. It's a lot cleaner than it was when we got up here. It was pretty dirty the first day, but she's come good. Hmm. 
don't want to play the game, do you? There we go. What do we got? Little tiny. Oh! <laughs> tiny little bar tail. I was trying to rush him in. This pool was full of grunter a couple of days ago. Oh, that could have been one of them. Damn it. Yep. Uh, what we got? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Really? I was just going to call a little grunter, but... Oh, just stay on there. That's got to be a flathead. It's shaking its head. <sighs> I've had a lot of hooks come out of a lot of fish. Need one to stay in. Oh, is it just an estuary cod? Yeah, it's just an estuary cod. It's had a bit of weight there. Gold spot estuary cod. Hey. That's not bad. A little gold spot estuary cod. Low tide, this dude will just be chilling, cruising his little hole. And he saw that shrimp and went, yep, I'll have that. It's good fun, walking the flats, like, yeah, it was a pain in the ass doing it with a fly rod. I still had fun doing it. There's no way I would, you know, swap it for another day or something else. Like, I'd rather be fishing, but yeah, spin rod, cruising the flats, one rod, two feet and a heartbeat. It's good fun. That's cool. Down the gurgler. 